And now, Brianna Jones with News 4 Sports. Well, hey guys, there are so many happy, smiling faces in the city of opportunity because we are celebrating a long-lasting tradition op Bobcats football. The city of opportunity, of course, is known for that because that's what they gave to so many players who took the field at op high school. 100 years of great football, of bringing out fans, of bringing out family to this city who really just want to see a great time. Now, guys, this may be before your time, but back in 1952, op high school had an undefeated season. And in 1953, they only lost one game. We have a couple captains from those teams who are here to celebrate and hopefully pass along the tradition to some of the younger guys. But let's look at some past video over the years and show you guys some of the stats and just how far this team has come and how they've been so accomplished. The op football traditions, again, runs deep in Covington County. So does the Bobcats longest running rivalry against the Andalusia Bulldogs. Op has won 36 games to Andalusia's 52 with four ties in between. Three NFL players have suited up for the Bobcats. Over 100 players have been named All-State. They're hoping to keep that list growing, of course. Op's first region championship came in 1978. Now they have nine, with the last being in 2016. Still, Op is on the hunt for their first state championship, and hopefully it can happen under first-year head coach Matt Brunson. Now, Matt Brunson comes to this team with six state titles, that last one being in 2020. And again, I spoke to him earlier today, and he's just hoping that they can trust him with his game plan for these guys and that he can really get up back to some of those winning ways. Of course, we'll be watching. Now, I did learn there are three times that Op comes to Dothan, so I'm sure that we'll have to be out there and catching that for you guys. Live in Op, Brianna Jones, your hometown news leader. Wow, 100 yeah, years. That is so amazing. Yeah. And yeah, we'll definitely have to be catching that game for sure. And now, Brianna Jones with News 4 Sports. Well, it has been many, many years of great football in the city of opportunity. The Op Bobcats gather folks from all around to celebrate 100 years of long lasting tradition and cheer to the new tradition that could come. There is no place like home. Let the many players who have suited up for the Op Bobcats football team be the first to tell you. Numerous players paid their respects to where it all started, celebrating 100 years of football. Just like old times, it's a teamwork to get here. A lot of people have planned for this for several months. So we've got a really big turnout. The oldest person here is the captain from our 1951 team. That captain is part of the rich legacy created in Covington County, which includes three players who went on to play in the NFL and over 100 players who were named All-State. Many faces in the building remembered Op's first region championship, which happened back in 1978. Now they have nine, with the last being in 2016. But it's pretty hard to forget about Op in the 50s. We went undefeated in 1952, lost one game in 1953. We've got four players back from that. We put six players on the All-State team in 1952, four in 1953. We've got two of those four with us tonight. A lot of great football players from the past. Not necessarily all famous, but everybody made a contribution, and a lot of them are here tonight. A lot of them also have their eyes set on the new guy in town. Head coach Matt Brunson has been on the job for just six short months, but progressing really fast with this football team. One thing he did say, he already feels the Bobcats love all around him. I've been to a lot of reunions and, and celebrations of football programs that I've been in the past, but never have I had about, you know, uh, about a dozen former head coaches show up at one spot. So that means something as well about the impact this place had on the coaches that went before me. Brunson says he hopes to continue the tradition of community engagement as he enters his first year as head coach. He wants the former players to be able to come back at any time and keep the family close. Ops a family, and I think what makes special towns special is everybody comes together to support their school and the programs, and they definitely do that here. And when Op football gathers, man, they're still a part of it. I want them to have full access and be a part of our program and hopefully enjoy the success of the future of our program and be a part of it. Coach Brunson certainly has work to do as fans hope he can bring the school its first state title. He comes from the panhandle with six rings under his belt, that last being in 2020. Well, Op will kick off the 2023 season against its longest running rival and Illusia that's set for August 24th. The Bobcats lost to the Bulldogs 35 to 7 to close out their 2022 season. 
That'll do it for your local sports. Another look at that forecast after the break.